Karl Jess von Kreatives Leben. Today I'm going to create an art journal and this is a cooperation with Flavia. She has a channel called The Art of Inspiration. If you don't know her, her yet, please go and have a look at her channel. She does amazing things and I'm very excited to do something with her. She is really great with watercolors. Um, so that's why I decided I will send her... Um, a page or a journal with watercolors. And basically what I'm doing and why, what I've started doing already is first I've been using some uh, stamps with Artos in rose, uh, Pretty Colors in yellow and Archival Ink in Carnation Red and Hero Arts in Neon Pink. And now I'm using some sprays and basically these are mostly delusions. So I'm using water-soluble soluble sprays on purpose. Uh, I'm using squeezed orange, lemon zest, and bubblegum pink, as well as uh, distress spray stains in sponge sugar squeezed lemonade, lemonade, and I've also used some Brusho acrylic shimmering spray in shimmering yellow because I love my shimmers. And basically, I'm doing this on both sides, so I've already folded my uh, accordion because it's going to be accordion an accordion uh, art journal and I'm um, doing the same thing on both sides so I'm not going to show you I'm not going to show you everything uh, again and again but just to give you a good understanding of, of what I've been doing so I'm creating a background preparing for the topic and the topic that uh, we have decided together Flavia and I is um, millipede searching for his shoes or trying to put on his shoes. I'm not very good at drawing millipedes so I have decided to um, well I've no, I have done my own interpretation, let's put it that way. So I have drawn a little millipede on my page and um, I've done that with my pencil but as you won't, wouldn't be able to see it now I'm going back on it with my um, intense pens in violet and purple and um, basically the purpose is because I'm going to use watercolors afterwards on top of it I want it's still to be visible and I want to give it like a, a very thin border making it slightly darker than the rest and I'm doing this on both sides obviously and um, the illusion I want to give is like a very long millipede and they are very long uh, going across both sides of my accordion and so the bottom is on the left hand side and the head is on the right hand side so I'm going to uh, very soon draw their head part and um, now that I have done that I'm going to use my um, my echo lines um, to paint it out so um, I've chosen echo lines on purpose I mean you can see that I've taken out my um, Schminke uh, watercolors but I was worried that they wouldn't be dark enough because my background is already very dark and the advantage of Ecolines is that they're very intense, the colors are amazing and I wanted to create, to give him a very strong body, you know, I wanted him to stand out and I've chosen, it looks very reddish, it's more actually more of a kind of purple pink that I've been using um, and well, I like the color anyway. <laughs> I like red, but I also like purples and pinks. Um, so right now I'm just uh, you, producing different shades. As you can see, some parts are better, some are darker. Uh, here I'm, I'm just painting uh, the body of the millipede and the purpose is um, to have a first layer. And I'm going to go come back at least uh, three times to make sure that... Um, not only the body, uh, to, to give it more structure and, and to make it more three-dimensional three because right now it's obviously a little bit uh, flat. I mean, you know, this is what, it, what happens at the beginning and, and you will see it evolving as we go. So now I have finished um, doing uh, both sides and now I'm going back 
with my watercolors this time, my schminke, uh, and also some uh, echo lines. And basically, I'm going around my legs and I'm creating. So, my, the purpose is to have the legs come forward. So, I want them to be in front and the body being in the back. So I, I'm trying to, to create this sense and I'm going to, to have more than one layer to make sure that it's, it's, quite, it's visible. So you see me doing it again on the other side. So I'm always drying in between and going back. And um, So this is my second layer, as I was saying, and there will be another layer. And, and um, the more layers there are, the better it becomes, the more tri-dimensional tri it is. So... Here, my purpose is really, I wanted to have like little um, globes. Uh, his body consists of little globes, and this is the way I see my uh, millipede. It's obviously not a real millipede. I'm sure you know how they look like. They look very different than that. And um, so here, I'm using my paint to um, to, to make sure that the, the, the bottom of um, the of the millipede is darker and that um, the legs are again more in the front. So this is what I, I'm working on all the time by creating layers to make sure that the leg is in the front. And you will see me going back again with another layer later and that's where it becomes really tridimensional. Um, and I know it's a repetition and it's uh, but this is how it works. Uh, it doesn't get right the first time. You really need to do it more than once to make sure it really works and looks the way you want it to look. Uh, what you see me doing here, I'm going back with some white watercolor. Obviously, it's not going to be completely white, but I felt that between the legs, sometimes the background was too strong and you wouldn't, the, the legs would be, wouldn't be standing out. You can see it well here. And what the watercolor does, it doesn't really make uh, the, the background white, but it makes it fainter and, and um, you can still recognize the colors in the background, but it's not as strong. So now it's the next uh, layer that I'm creating. This time I'm using my carbon pen and I'm um, just doing some shading. So again, here I'm going around my millipede and the purpose here is with the watercolor, I can create like a border, but it's not as thin, obviously, as with my carbon pen. So this is why I'm going back here and it, it makes it stand out, especially against um, the floor and also against the background. And now everything is starting to become really tridimensional. At least that's how I see it. And... Um, I'm also doing uh, the bottom again uh, so that he stands on a firm ground. And you can see again behind the leg, this is the most important part. This is the, probably one of the darkest parts in the painting uh, because this is what I want uh, it to, to be. And also I'm going around... Um, my my globes, my little globes, because I want them really to to look like little globes one behind another. So this is where the fun part starts, where I add some details and I'm working with my Posca pen and my Sharpie pen. The Sharpie pen is for the darker parts and the Posca in pink is for the lighter parts. Um, and, and you see now how everything, uh, because I'm adding also some white uh, Sharpie pen here, um, everything comes together and it's it's really, yeah, it, it's tridimensional. And I still felt that my leg wasn't <laughs> as standing out as I wanted. So I'm taking my intense pens again, uh, reactivating them with water and making sure that the front legs always look in the front. And my husband mentioned, well, they don't have back legs. Yes, they don't have back legs. That is my right as an artist not to give them back legs. So you only see one leg and not the second leg that is hiding behind the first leg. Um, here uh, again, now I'm going to, um, once I've done all, the, um, all the, the, the millipede, I'm going back to what actually is the theme of this page, which is the shoes. As you may remember, it is about a millipede having to uh, put on his shoes and... Um, 
obviously he has many shoes and he's not a very tidy millipede so that's why uh, I've added all kinds of shoes in front of him, a pile of them, and basically you can imagine it must be difficult for him to choose. He can't find the pairs, well, he doesn't have a pair of legs anyway, but he can't find his pairs, he can't find the right shoe forms, um, some are um, trekking shoes, others are uh, stilettos, pumps, whatever, so He's going to ha have a hard time. And I'm saying he, maybe it's a lady, I don't know. We'll leave it open. I haven't decided, but based on the shoes he has in front of him, it's very likely he might be a female millipede. And so I'm just um, making sure you can see them better. I'm adding more and more because I really want a big pile to, um, of shoes to exist. Um, they're not thousands. Obviously, I wouldn't have enough space for thousand shoes. But uh, what this millipede is also missing is um, an eye. And I wasn't very happy with the first form, so I will be working on it to make it more friendly and not as weird as it is right now. I'm adding some highlights on my shoes and some dark parts. And I'm going to make a proper eye for my millipede. And now it looks better. It looks a bit like a... A tortoise, actually, the, the head, but, you know, who knows how a millipede's head looks like. Uh, probably not like that, but, again, this is my artistic freedom. So I am uh, finishing my shoes, and it looks like my shoes are about to be finished. Uh, I'm adding some uh, gel pen in uh, copper, because I wanted to have some shimmer, and I'm going also to use that on my millipede, I'm going to have some highlights along uh, the back of my millipede, and that gives him some shimmer that I love. So that's about it for uh, him. And as you remember, I mentioned that this is actually an art journal. So I am I have created a cover for my art journal. It's made out of vegan leather, so it's a kind of mixture of. Um, paperboard and something like that. So I'm doing the same things as I did on my watercolor paper. I'm using stems, I'm using stencils, the same colors, the same colors as before, and um, the same um, stencils as before, so that it all fits together. And um, what I'm going to do, I have created a flap so that I can put the flap over, and I'm going simply to stick down my little accordion into my um, little cover. I'm going to put it down with um, gel medium, and um, I'm going to add a little uh, string so that I can... Uh, put it around my little art journal. It's quite tiny as you can see and I've decided to put a little shoe on top of my cover and you can see when I take up of the flap uh, the flap you can still see my shoe. That's the purpose of what I was doing and um, Yeah, I'm using again my uh, intense uh, pen. I love my intense pens and the uh, vegan leather is really great because you can do whatever you want on it. Um, I You can write on it. So I'm writing thousand uh, with my gel pen and I'm writing shoes on it in German uh, with my gel pen. And um, you will see in the final uh uh, pictures that I have gone over the copper because I felt that you could see it very well and I've added it in pink with my Posca pen. So I'm going to add a string on my flap and I'm going to bind it around my little art journal. You will now see some pictures where you will see more of it. Um, I was a little bit out of um, the, the video frame so that's why the last part is a little bit faster. Uh, I apologize for that, but you can see how tiny my little art journal has become, and I really like it. I have a little bead at the end, and I can open it up, and then when I open it up, you can see uh, the little shoe, and inside, you can see my little accordion with the uh, millipede, and this is his back, and you can see how the structure from uh, the the background is showing through, and I really love that. So I hope you loved it as well. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, comment, or um, follow my channel if you haven't done that. And don't forget to look also at Art of Inspiration, Flavia's channel.